Hey Fresh Foodies, I have accepted the NYC Food Bank Challenge. This challenge is to bring awareness to some 46.3 million Americans who are currently on food stamps right now. I will have to survive on just $29 worth of groceries. Now, for some of you, you probably spend this on just a week's worth of coffee. Maybe this is how much you spend one day eating out. In 2013, food stamp benefits were cut to $1.38 per meal. That means a day, one person could have $4.14 for three meals. This is not enough money. Can't even say that $4.14 can get you a value meal at your local fast food restaurant. So not only will I be taking a step into what 46.3 million Americans are facing right now, I'll also be taking a step back into my own childhood. Me and my family were on food stamps for about six months. And I can honestly say that I don't really remember us being on food stamps. My exceptional mother did the best that she could with the resources that we had. Every morning, she fed us breakfast, we went out to school, we came home, and she cooked us dinner. I can't say that most Americans right now understand the value of learning how to prepare meals yourself. Cooking is a life skill, and I believe that life skill has really been lost throughout the course of time. We rely on convenience fast food. We like it quick, we like it simple, and we like it now. However, growing up, that was not the case. We were raised to wait, be patient, and learn how to prepare your own food. Now, I can't say that $29 is enough to last on a week's worth of groceries, especially when you start looking at the USDA guidelines for what a perfect meal is. But we'll get into that later on in the week. So let's get into my grocery shopping trip. I have changed the location at which I even bought my groceries. I walked around the grocery store first just to scope out prices. I wanted to see what I could get at a really cost-effective price, things that I would eat. Going to my local organic grocer or farmer's market would be a little too expensive. I'm willing to bet that a lot of you don't even make a shopping list when you go to the grocery store. When you're living on $29 or when you have a budget, it is crucial for you to write out a shopping list, have a plan before you go into the grocery store. For me, my plan was I'm going to have limited protein, get as many vegetables as I can, and then have fillers. Now when I say fillers, I mean things like rice, beans, and possibly even bread. When you have $29 a week, you also have to think about how much of a food snob you're going to be. It is not acceptable to go to your local grocery store and spend $4 on your favorite organic oil when a 99 cent can of spray oil will do. These are the sacrifices that you have to make. I had a game plan when I went to the grocery store. I knew that there were some things that I wanted to make. I knew that there were some things that would spread really well. You also have to think about what you normally eat. For some of you, this might be really difficult. You may be so used to eating out all the time that you don't even know what you're used to eating. Just think about it. You buy a coffee and maybe a breakfast sandwich before you even get into the office. Or maybe you buy a coffee and a muffin before you get into your office. Maybe you bought yourself a granola bar and then you're hitting up the cafeteria and then you're on your way home. Who wants to cook? You grab takeout from your local restaurant. You haven't cooked a thing. Yes. You could buy a multi-pack of ramen noodles, you can buy a multi-pack of pasta, you can buy really cheap pasta sauce, but the key to this challenge is to survive on $29 eating nutritious meals. I have to say, my food haul ended up pretty well. I managed to get an array of products. I'll leave a link below as to where you can get the full list of ingredients that I bought at the grocery store, but I think I did a really great job. Now I will say that when I got to check out, there were some items that I did have to put back. I became the person that was holding everyone else up because I kept taking out products. It was at that moment that I had to take out a bag of radishes that I thought I'd be able to get. And then the real sacrifice came to when I had literally 99 cents to give up. And I had to give up the coffee. <sighs> I gave up the coffee. It was really upsetting. So I'm really excited to be going through this week. I think every day we'll talk about what I ate, the amount of calories we took in, and we'll go over the nutrition. Don't forget to click on the link below so you can find out what I got on my grocery shopping list. And I hope you guys stick with me throughout this week as I do this challenge. Don't try to buy the upscale stuff, get the store brand stuff. You know, because it's, it's uh, the price is a, a lot less expensive. You, know, you learn to be resourceful. A cooked meal is a whole lot more healthier for you.